Many of us think that physical activity is only for the young, but most of the people you see here are aged between 55 and 85, and they all enjoy regular physical activity to keep both their minds and their bodies healthy. Hello. Nice to meet you. And they want to share some ideas with you to help you get active, whatever your age, ability or cultural background. Health is wealth. Just enjoy life and think positive. I just do simple exercise which will keep me mobile. Kickstart man, don't wait. Physical activity brings lots of benefits, as these activists will tell you. Benefits of the exercise. Exercise keep you fit. Third point, reduce physical problems, aches, pains, arthritis and rheumatism. Improves circulation and flexibility. It also improves your body functions, e.g. constipation. It makes you more energetic. It makes you stronger, makes you healthier. Less stress, mentally alert, and better concentration. And last, I will say that a, a better sex life if you are still in the business. <laughs> <laughs> But it's time for less talk and more action. Meet Joshua and Kodvis Sharif, who share a passion for dancing. Well, we are over 75. No, over 75? No, we Come are, on! We, we, are, we are over 70. <laughs> mm, we still try to be as active as when we were younger. Make me feel fit. Make me always ready to go. Because I've always been an active person. I've been an active person all my life. And I don't see any reason for stop being active now. Dancing is part of our life. It's, it's, it's so uplifting. If you feel down and you put on a good salsa, any music that makes you dance, it, it boosts your energy. You know, once we're doing our exercises, we don't get colds, we don't get flus. It does really keep, you know, keep us fit. I go along with her, so when she exercises, she know I'm there. I'm not in any mischief, so she exercises better. <laughs> But sometimes the hardest thing is getting started. There may be certain barriers that are stopping you from getting active. One of the barriers is the lack of awareness, language barrier for the especially ethnic minorities communities. Uh, age, also one of the barriers. Some of the reasons are uh, because mobility is limited for, for many people. Because they haven't been that active, <coughs> for the best part of their lives, all of a sudden to get up and go becomes a bit of a, a difficult thing to do. Lack of willingness. Believe that once you are old, you should not have to involve in this type of the activity. Yeah. That's also <laughs> one of the, you know, in some community, this yeah. type of the feeling, that's only young people can do this exercise. <laughs> but it's not our Language or cultural differences may mean mainstream activities aren't always accessible. But there are organisations across the UK and in your community that offer a range of culturally specific activities. Language for a lot of our members is a big issue, so it would be very difficult for our members to take part in any kind of even chair-based exercises if they're not able to understand. That's why when they come to our centre, all our activities are conducted in um, English and Gujarati. Community organisations, such as the Barnet Asian Old People's Association, 
offer activities such as Indian dancing, and age is no barrier. We have people who are 55 taking part in exercises, but we also have people who are 90, and I can tell you the people who are 90, they sit on the front row and they're more active than the ones that are 55. Our Indian dancing is very good for physical well-being but also for mental well-being because in, in that way you're actually meeting other people, um, you're socialising and you'll have a little laugh and you know, so it's a nice, um, just a nice sort of social activity. But not everyone feels comfortable in mixed classes. So community centres like the Hamara Healthy Living Centre offer segregated classes for men and women. Mahmoud Sadiq decided to get active after being diagnosed with diabetes. Come on here, please. You are roughly 66 kilos, that's yeah. 10 and a half stones. Yeah. I think you were about 11 stone propeller. Yeah, 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 11 stones. So you've lost roughly around yeah. uh, half, half a stone roughly. Half stone, yeah. What we're trying to basically do with Mr. Mahmoudia yeah, is so he's got diabetes and physical activity is good for that. It reduces, obviously, it's, he was lose a bit of weight, which would ultimately uh, impact on his um, health, long term health. We only need to lose another half stone yeah. by the end of the eight yeah. weeks. We hope the environment that we've created in the Health Living Centre um, accommodates people like Mr. Iku, Mr. Mahmood and come in his own clothes, etc. Well, we don't necessarily want him to have trainers but softer shoes, whereas in some gyms they're quite strict. The other thing is that the music we sometimes have, um, that Asian music is going on and that kind of thing. What I tend to find easy, Uncle, is from side to side. Move your hips from side to side, that's it. Keep your hands on the heart, that's it. We also have multilingual uh, instructors, um, so that's quite appealing to most of these uh, older people. I think one of the most important things is it's in the community setting, so it directly has an impact on individuals coming from the area. Meanwhile, upstairs, the ladies are in a class of their own. They want a female-only class, um, and the same goes for the men, actually. Um, and uh, separate classes um, and more appropriate cultural sensitive classes what the clothes you know they can wear which they feel comfortable in Pilates is good for the whole of the body uh, their body and, and the pains and aches they have um, they go to the own GP complaining about the pain in the knee and the you know the elbow and the back and the doctor advises them go join Pilates class and uh, that should do you good I personally uh, participate in the class, the Pilates class, and I have to benefit it from my knee pain, back pain, and um, I found it very useful, so I take part in every week. Their energetic workout is rewarded with a healthy snack and a chance to chat with friends. Physical activity, good nutrition and socialising are important aspects of keeping fit and healthy. The social side is very important for them. Uh, I think they just look forward to that, then the rest follows after that. That's very important. And if you're willing to take the plunge, one of the most beneficial activities is swimming, as these Chinese elders have discovered. We set up the swimming group, I think, eight or nine years ago. It's benefit for the elderly, especially they have the joint problem, they have back pain, and again, it's a very good exercise for them. The 
it's shyness, definitely, because some elderly, they, I all mentioned before, they, they never wear a swimming trunk before, and because it's a men and women, you know, so they have to overcome that shyness. But now they are fine. And the fun doesn't end in the pool. Afterwards, it's back to the community centre for lunch. It's a community centre, they can they come to have lunch together and they will talk. The shy one will not talk, but gradually they learn to talk, to communicate with each other, and they get to know each other, and they will encourage each other to do something together. But being active isn't just about exercising your body. Exercising your brain helps keep you mentally alert. The benefit of the Chinese mahjong is, has been proved that um, it prevents dementia and it's good for you to use your brain, you know, to play with four people. Said that playing Chinese chess is quite similar to international chess and by playing chess it keeps him practicing his mind, I mean using his mind more and also keep, keep everything fresh and it's a very good exercise to practice every day and apart from chess, he will do jogging every, every morning from yeah, it's at 7 o'clock in the morning and do half an hour exercise and then go back home, have breakfast and then come to here. Yeah, he's 78 now. Hello. And getting active doesn't mean you have to join a class. Exercising with friends and family keeps you in shape and it's just as much fun. It's more than 40 years since these men last picked up a table tennis bat. After 40 years, I am playing again. How does it feel? Fine, very good. Good for the exercise, good for the health, and it feels me warm in my body, and good for the exercise. Uh, it gives me good exercise. Uh, it's just the same as uh, volleyball. I used to play volleyball. The theory is nearly the same, and it was wonderful. Uh, I, I, I find it very useful, it very and well. I think I, I will remember it for a long time. Very good. But if you prefer a less energetic workout, or if you have limited mobility, there are gentler activities such as chair-based Tai Chi. And we'll start the session by doing some breathing exercises, simple breathing exercises. Inhale. Exhale. And the evidence shows that keeping active, um, particularly in older age, helps to um, improve body function, improve the immune system. Circles, windmills, okay? Start from there, come down, cross your arms, come up, breathe in, breathe out, coming down, down, and lift. Toes off the floor, back up, and down. Right foot forward, left foot bent, okay? From there, Hands reach forward. Yeah, come back. Yeah, from there, come back. Push down to the right. Come up. We have um, members that suffer from a range of um, illnesses, high blood pressure, asthma, uh, joint problems, back problems. Um, physical activity helps to improve all these. Older people are set very institutionalized and unless somebody can bring fun into exercise, they will then pick it up. Otherwise they think, well, I'm too old and they settle down very quickly on, on not doing anything. So as you can see, there is something for everyone, including you. If you'd like to find out more information about activities in your area, contact Priya 
the Policy Research Institute on Aging and Ethnicity on 0113 285 5990 or visit our website at www.priya.org or email us at info at priya.org It's never too late, you're never too old, so what are you waiting for? Get active today.